up all the antique things that are too big to haul around the show. And I'm here with Tony, who is an expert on how to get something in your garden that really looks great, that is old, and in many times recycled. Tony, you want to tell us about it? Yes, uh, I'm Tony Pewitz with Garden Stone Art out of Granville, Ohio. And uh, garden ornaments have been around for a long time. Even the ancient uh, Egyptians and the folks in Pompeii had garden ornaments in their yard. A uh, typical garden ornament might be an urn, might be a bird bath, a sundial, or statuary. And here in this booth you will see uh, an assortment of all of those things. Uh, and all of the objects here are repurposed, so recycled out of old buildings. So let me ask you about, well, let me ask you about the urn first. Is it iron? Yes, the urns are iron, and these are probably date back to the early 1900s. They were found at a salvage store in uh, uh, Florida, and there was a set of six of them, and I have four of them here at the show. There's a lot of reproductions today on urns, uh, but these are original, uh, cast many times at foundries throughout the Midwest. And how much is it? Uh, these are $750 a piece. Uh, there's a pair of them. Then there's a very large white urn over there that is original Kramer Brothers, uh, the one that has flowers in it. And uh, that one is $1,300. Uh, because it is signed by the founder's name. Okay, and the next one's going to be this lovely lady and her friend. <laughs> yes, the two statues that I have here at this show are what the French called puties, P-U-T-T-I, also another word for cherubs, and it's a representation uh, of two of the four seasons. Uh, we have fall and we have spring here with us. And they are mounted on pedestals that are part of an old building from Louisville, Kentucky. You forgot the price. Well, the price on they, uh, the statues are $850 and uh, $350 for the pedestal. All right. Now, I see you have a sundial down here. Is that... Again, I like to repurpose things. And this sundial happens to be a chimney pot from Pittsburgh. And the clay... Yeah, that was made of is more of a tan clay versus a red clay that terracotta pots are made out of. And on top of the chimney pot is an old farmer's uh, sharpening wheel with an antique sundial mounted on it. And uh, the three pieces here are $615. All right, I'm going to ask you for a little one because I have one of these. You've got a boot scraper down here. And I find it's very useful because I scrape my boots. Yeah, it's interesting. In Europe, and I was in Ireland and England last year, outside every flat, outside every house was a boot scraper. And in Europe, they were mounted on uh, stones or sometimes actually put right inside this concrete on the porch. When the colonists came to America, they started making them on iron plates instead of stone. So I try to keep the tradition, and I cut them off of the iron plate and put them back onto a stone. And these two that you see here are two ninety-five a piece. Well, mine's still on. That's interesting to know because mine does have a, an iron base, yes. and, and I might add it's old because I've had it a long time. So, well, the other one I wanted to know is about this because I this looked like an artichoke or something. I don't know what it was, and uh, I thought you could explain it. Yes, uh, it probably was meant to represent an artichoke. The actual top is not an antique. Uh, it's called a zinc leaf ball, and it's handmade in Bulgaria, and they solder on each one of these leaves separately. And I used it as an ornamentation on top of this sandstone pedestal that I found at an antique store in uh, South Carolina. And this retails for $1,450 for all uh, four pieces. And I noticed you put the whole history on the piece, which is yes. nice, because I promptly forget after I bought it if you didn't. Yeah, every piece here has the history attached to it as to where the stone came from. Well, that's very nice. Now, are people putting more of these things in their yards than they used to? I think people are more interested in gardening today. Uh, because of the economy, many people are staying home, so they're more likely to be improving their home and their garden and spending more time outside. 
And of course, we haven't shown you all of the gates because we haven't got time, but he has lots more. Thank you very much, Tony. Thank you.